Hello everybody, this is Moogie from Tactic. Today we're going to be looking at the replacement of a bucking unit on a hop-up unit. So this is the bucking, this is the hop-up unit, and we're going to go through the disassembly. So uh, as you can see, there's this little ring here. Sometimes there's a brass ring. Uh, normally this is to stabilize the barrel inside the, the hop-up unit. So it's important to take it out. I use a, a flathead small screwdriver uh, to move the C-clip. So what I do is I push it on the tip of the C-clip. I leave my finger here and I kind of push it off. It's really important to be in control of the C-clip because they tend to fly away and you lose them. So be very careful with that. So when disassembling uh, the hop-up unit, you have to kind of make sure that the hop-up unit itself here, I'll just try to put it, is at zero. So as you can see, there is no nub pushing down. So there's no shape. Um, this is to avoid pulling out and like losing uh, parts inside with the nub. So I'm going to start pulling out slowly. We can see the bucking start to appear. And then sometimes they kind of like uh, pull out. There we go. Everything's been pulled out. I'll yank the old one and I'll put it aside. I'll leave the unit pointing upwards because I don't want to lose the nub inside. Afterwards, what I normally do is that I just use a piece of a Scott towel to kind of clean uh, the outer portion of the barrel. Uh, if you have a chance, you can also clean the inside uh, with your cleaning rod, but you can do that after the installation if need be. So I'm going to use this new um, bucking from Maple Leaf. This is an MR series made from silicone. It's a new product uh, we're testing out, and these give uh, pretty good results. Uh, so I'm going to install this. So the way that it's done is there's a little line actually at the top here of the unit and there's a line on the barrel. So you're just trying to align both of them together and just kind of slide them in. Once they've slid, it's important to kind of push them into place and get kind of just squeeze it on slowly. Make sure that you don't stretch, deform or crack anything. And then once the unit is on, there we go, pulling it on, and we should be good here to go. So once it's installed, uh, what's important is just to make sure that the, the line here, you don't feel anything. Uh, I'm going to kind of place the bucking here with my nails just to make sure that it's straight so there's no uh, real resistance. I'm also checking here to see if the patch is properly installed. I can actually see through. This is the reason that I'm talking about this uh, bucking because I can actually see the installation compared to uh, other traditional uh, rubber uh, buckings that are installed on the barrel. So what we're going to do now is we're going to reinsert. Again, so I'm just pushing here. The line is on top. The line is pointing towards the top and I'm just basically uh, oops, sorry, I was doing it badly. I just saw here. Here's the line. Uh, that's not the line. Here is the top. So I'm just going to insert properly. And when I get to the end, perfect. So I'm going to push this part to stabilize the barrel. Reinstall the C-clip on top. So the way that I do it is that I push the C-clip in. I push with my finger and then basically I pull backward and forward just to make sure that it snaps completely. To do a final test, what we're going to do is I'm just going to crank it in, turn the, the knob here, and then we should see actually the top part here, as you can see, is, has this nice straight line inside. If it's not straight, you can actually use the barrel to twist it a little bit if you need any corrections, but uh, that's on a rare occasion, but you can do that. Um, the second thing that's important to do once the installation is complete is to do a drop test. So the first thing you want to do is put a BB inside the chamber here. So we're gonna put one BB inside. And as you can see, it falls out. So that's a good situation. That means that there's the lips here in the back are not blocking the fact that the BB is falling down and they can go through the back. The other test we're going to do is called the drop test. So I'm gonna put the BB back here and I'm going to make sure that it doesn't fall through. As you can see, it doesn't. And then I'm going to slightly use my screwdriver to slightly push the BB past the pad and see the tension. If the tension is very low, then basically uh, I have a good, a good setup. So I'm just going to do it again here from this side so we can see. I push it and then basically 
the BB comes out on the other side. If there's too much pressure, then that can cause uh, basically misfeeds and jams and whatnot. So those are the things to be careful uh, when doing the installation of a hop-up uh, bucking in a hop-up unit. So this has been Mugi from Tactic Airsoft, signing out.